Alright, thanks for tuning in to another physics video with Mr. M. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be, I'm going to uh, teach you guys how to um, go ahead and solve for a projectile motion type question. Uh, in this question, we're only going to be looking at an object that is launched horizontally, so no vertical component whatsoever. Okay, so let's get into things. Um, here we have our problem. It says an airplane flies horizontally with a speed of 290 meters per second at an altitude of 350 meters. Assume the ground is level. And here's the question. At what horizontal distance from a target must the pilot release a bomb so as to hit the target? Okay, and what I've already included for us are the three equations that um, go along with uh, projectile motions. Okay, and so we're going to be using uh, some of the, these equations to help us solve for this problem. Okay, now one of the the most important things with these projectile motion problems is it's always a good idea to draw a picture of what's happening. Okay, and uh, it doesn't have to be you know perfect or anything, but here we have our our airplane. Okay, he's traveling at a horizontal speed of 290 meters per second and we know that he has an altitude so our height is going to be 350 meters All right, and the idea is that he's carrying a bomb and because he's going so fast if he were to release it that bomb is going to travel and hit the ground Okay and so we want to figure out how far away does he have to release it so that we get our our horizontal distance okay so that's the idea now the way that I teach my physics students is it's always good to list our known and unknown values from what the problem has giving us, has given us so let's go ahead and start doing that uh, and the idea with these uh, projectile motion problems is that you're going to end up with, you're usually going to end up with two unknown variables, but everything else um, we're going to end up knowing. Uh, and the trick is they're not going to tell you everything. You're going to have to kind of think critically to kind of figure out what we know and what we don't know. Okay. Well, the uh, the two the two obvious um, variables that we know. Uh, would be our horizontal velocity. So that's labeled as Vxi or Vx sub i and we know that we're traveling at 290 meters per second. We also know what our altitude is. Uh, in other words our height. Okay, And so our height, that symbol is Y sub i and that's 350 meters. Usually whenever I have my my height or my horizontal distance if I have my initial I can probably go ahead and solve for my final and so we know that as the bomb hits the ground that's going to be its final height and we know at the ground we're at zero meters okay what else do we know okay well other things that we know is that our initial position so x sub i is also going to be 0 meters. We also know that because this is a horizontal type problem, we know that there's no vertical component. So our vyi is going to be 0 meters per second. Okay? And we also know we're dealing with gravity here. So whenever we use projectile motion, gravity is negative 9.8 meters per squared. So that leaves us with what don't we know? Well, we don't know the time. And obviously what the question is asking is, what was the horizontal distance? So we don't know xf. All right. So once again, here we see we have our two unknown variables. We know everything else. All right. So now we just have to figure out, out of these three equations, which one can we use? Um, and with these projectile motion problems the idea is once you solve for time because time is in all three of these equations once you find for time you can use that time to then plug into whatever equation you need to, to solve the, the problem 
Okay, so for our known values, we're going to end up using our middle equation here. Okay, the reason being is we can't solve for the distance right away because we would have two unknown variables, xf and delta t. Uh, we're not going to be able to use that equation. Okay, so we're going to use this middle one and we're going to end up solving for time and then we're going to plug that into this top equation so that we can go ahead and solve for xf. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Our yf, uh, that's going to be zero meters. <coughs> We know our yi is 350 meters. We're going to add that to our initial vertical velocity, which was 0 meters per second times time. And we're going to subtract our 1 half 9.8 meters per second squared times time squared. Okay. Now at this point, it's just a means of um, doing the algebra. Okay, making sure that you are you are combining like terms, that you are not combining unlike terms. Okay, so we have zero meters is going to end up equaling 350 meters minus uh, one half of 9.8 is 4.9 meters per second squared times t squared. Okay. Uh, to get t squared all by itself, we're going to subtract 350. That's going to give us negative 4.9 meters per second squared times t squared. To get t squared all by itself, subtract, I'm not sorry, divide by negative 4.9 on both sides. We're going to end up with 71.4. Second squared equals time squared. And then to finish this guy off, we're going to square root both sides so that our time comes out to be 8.4 seconds. Okay. So we, need, we needed to solve for time so that we can plug it into this top equation to um, end up solving for what the problem asked for, which is, was our final distance. So xf, we don't know what that is. That's going to equal our initial position horizontally, which is 0 meters. And we're going to add that to our initial um, horizontal velocity, which was 290 meters per second. Multiply that by the time that we just solved for, 8.4 seconds. This becomes a relatively easy problem. At this point, just multiply the 290 and the 8.4, and we end up with an, our answer of 2,436 meters. All right. So hopefully um, this video has been helpful for you in solving your own horizontally launched projectile. Thank you for tuning in.